Fedora Galasso. Good morning, Chair Chairwoman Davis and members of the House Appropriations Committee. My name is Fedora Galasso, and I'm the Texas Director for Young Invincibles. We are a national nonpartisan research and advocacy organization focused on critical economic issues facing young people ages 18 to 34, one of them being access to quality, affordable health care. Here in Texas, we're based in Houston and Austin, but we work with young people throughout the state and share in all their struggles and successes on the path to financial security. Thank you for the opportunity to testify today. Despite our tongue-in-cheek name, Young Invincibles knows that young people don't believe they're invincible. In fact, young people have seen the greatest gains in health coverage under the Affordable Care Act, with the young adult insur uninsurance rate being cut nearly in half since the implementation of the law almost a decade ago. One thing that has become clear through our work with young people, when health coverage is affordable, young people enroll. Unfortunately, Texas is lagging behind in health insurance and care enrollment and outcomes, and our young people's mental, physical, and economic health is caught in the crosshairs. When we discuss young people's health outcomes, dedicated attention and resources are needed to address the health and well-being of young families and young mothers, with a particular eye to the alarming reality of quality of care and morbidity stratification by race for young black women. The Maternal Mortality and Morbidity Task Force found that the majority of maternal deaths occurred 60 days postpartum and that black women bear the greatest risk for maternal death. This um, disproportionately affects young people ages 18 to 34. Although there are many factors that contribute to these poor health comes, we know that one of the best strategies we have to reverse these trends is to ensure that women have access to health care before, during, and after pregnancy. We urge lawmakers to improve maternal and child health by supporting initiatives to ensure women of reproductive age receive 12 months continuous coverage for preventative, primary, and specialty care before, during, and after pregnancy. And for women transitioning into adulthood, we encourage you to establish auto-enrollment for 19-year-olds who age out of CHIP and Children's Medicaid so they can seamlessly access care via the Healthy Texas Women Program and ensure they don't go uncovered unnecessarily. We ask state leaders that in, in the event that auto enrollment policy change is pursued, funding for the HHSC D11 budget strategy should include the full cost associated with projected caseload increase to avoid reduction in the provision of services within the program. We also urge you to prioritize young adult mental health on our college campuses in relation to our new mothers and is a key benefit protected in the state's marketplace. We encourage the legislature to, to, continue, to continue funding mental health first aid training for um, individuals at post-secondary institutions. Young Invincible sees affordable access to health care not only as vital for a person's physical well-being, but as a key pillar on which financial security is built. Thank you for your time. 